So the order of operations for partnership strategy, like I mentioned, you'll want to first complete the stack audit to know where everyone's at, you know, where every tool that you use is at. Sorry for the siren. What's going on with your stack? Are you partners? If so, blank, 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 make sure you get that done. So that's like low hanging fruit. You can do that in a week, you know, get those scheduled. Second part of the order operations, schedule a stand up lunch and learn at least once a month, maybe the second Thursday of the month and invite management. Anyone that you believe should have a uh, knowledge of new solutions that you're vetting. You can give me access to that. You can create a list and give me access. But what you want to do is say, here's all the people that have done lunch and learns and they're paid. That's the other thing. They buy lunch, which is kind of like a fun team building thing. Here's all the people that have paid for lunch and learns. Here's all the ones that were using but have not done lunch and learns or are partnered with that have not done lunch and learns. It's important to get your team to understand what the solution does, where it fits into current client services, and what the partnership opportunities are and status is, right? Those main things. Um, so schedule the lunch and learns. We recommend that. Uh, when you do the stack audit sheet, you'll get to a, a question of, do you co-sell with this partner and have you co-marketed with this partner? Those are both SOPs that we recommend agencies have on file. So your SOP for co-selling is what solution you prefer. I think you mentioned Crossbeam, great. Uh, if you start using ShareWork and it's easy for you, mention that you use either one of those. Those will be the industry standards. The others that do pop up randomly are just so much smaller that you're not even going to um, interact with them much. But I have a co-selling operation, uh, which is essentially what types of tools you will co-sell with, uh, along with your agency ideal customer profile, along with the size of your co-selling lists. Like we have 100 or so in prospecting. We have 500 or so in active. We have closed loss leads that we're happy to co-sell um, with you on. And, uh, and mention that in sort of a one pager. This could be appended to your partner memorandum, which is the other part of the SOP where when you're talking to a new partner, you want to get them the partner memorandum. When they email you and say, we'd love to partner with Snow Agency, you reply with, great, let's schedule a call. But before the call, review our partner memorandum. Partner memorandum includes sections like your ideal partner persona. Um, who's involved in the agency from a managerial standpoint, what each role does. Like Jonathan does this, Dan does this, I do this. And then you may have these other points of contact here, as well as what you do with partners. Do you do lunch and learns or allow them to do lunch and learns? Yes. Are they required to buy lunch? Yes. If so, for how many people? Uh, 20 people. Great. Uh, do you co-market with partners? What does co-marketing look like? Do you do guest posts on their blog? Do you allow them to do guest posts on your blog? Uh, do you participate in webinars, events? If so, do you sponsor any of that stuff as an agency? Do you have your own podcast? If so, are partners invited to that? Is there a sponsorship amount? All of those relevant things that say, here's what you can do with Snow Agency. How, does ref how do referral relationships work from your standpoint? Do you uh, refer directly? Uh, do you just include them in content and referrals happen organically? What sort of referral expectations can partners expect from you, um, if any? Uh, and what you like to do in general around the referral process, around Robin, like what does it look like? How do you hand leads off any of that relevant information? Um, and then what I like to do in the partner memorandum, because it's sort of a living document, it's a Google Doc. Mm -hmm. Instead of just appending a PDF, I like to do the Google Doc method because you can put current partners, status with each partner, uh, holes in your stack that you don't have partners for. You can put all that stuff. Um, if you are exclusive to certain partners, put that in there. If you are not exclusive, like, yeah, you use, I don't know, you maybe use Klaviyo, but... Clavio is your mid-market plus. You have a bunch of SMB clients that you are open to providing a new solution for. Great. Put that in there. Um, what you require of new partners. This is where Snow Agency is able to make some demands. Maybe you want to require all new partners to account map to start. 
this sets of an attribution system for you. So your agency will say, you know what, before we do any endeavor with a partner, an event, co-marketing, create a partnership in general, we want to first understand what the basis looks like. What does that Venn diagram look like? Because that is our source of truth. That's our attribution system. If there's only 10 clients that we are both working, that's fine. But let's try to get 12 by the end of the month. Let's try to get 15 by the end of the quarter. Let's try to build the middle of that Venn diagram. That's your source of um, attribution for that partnership. Like Clavio, we ran accounts and we have 50 clients that are using Clavio in our book of business. Great. But let's try to get that to 100 by the end of the year. Why not? You know, mm -hmm. I have uh, also, sorry, in that uh, partner memorandum, you can put things like KPIs, your, your partnership KPIs. Um, agencies have told me some interesting KPIs around event attendance is a good KPI. We do events with all of our partners. The Clavio event, 100 people showed up. That other event with Privy, maybe 200 people showed up. All that essentially means that Privy was a more successful co-marketing partner for you, so long as those people were in your ICP. Um, the other one is speed of pipeline. So in Salesforce, because you have that set up now or whatever CRM you guys were using, you have a speed of pipeline metric that your sales team should have, like pipeline velocity. Uh, if you have partnerships in the equation, that should speed up, right? So you can kind of do a report in Salesforce where you have here are all the referrals, uh, the referred leads from partners in our pipeline. Now, mm -hmm. of those, how many closed versus the other side of the pipeline? So you have your partner source pipeline, then you have your non-partner source pipeline. The partner source pipeline should have faster pipeline velocity, should have bigger deal sizes, should have better metrics all around. But mm -hmm. pipeline velocity is a good one. Partner uh, relationship should increase pipeline velocity regardless. Um, that's the whole idea. Um, total deal size that can go either way. Sometimes it doesn't uh, get impacted that much, but the idea there is, you know, there's, there's, there's an easier sale with partners, which means you should be able to uh, get bigger deals. But also if you're trying to go upstream, like you want to go more into mid-market or more into enterprise. Well, then I look at what solutions do I not have in my stack that sell into enterprise that I can partner with, right? Well, in order to get that done, in order to get those more enterprise accounts, you have to develop a whole partnership strategy around enterprise, pick out key tools that you need to partner with, develop those relationships. And then you have at the end of the year, all right, well, we went into enterprise. We had this many from sales, this many organic, and this many we sourced through partners. And, uh, and that's all yours, right? That's all under your um, umbrella. Um, so the order of operations, again, uh, define your stack, what you're doing with all your partners, set up lunch and learns, create the memorandum, which shows partners what you do with co-selling, with co-marketing, where they're included, what you require, I didn't mention this, but some of our partners will require a uh, backlink exchange or at least make it like a, hey, this will get you a partnership with Snow Agency mm -hmm. where you highlight Snow Agency in your blog, right? So you say, you know, wh whatever it takes, let's let get us a backlink and a mention in your blog, put us in that next newsletter that goes out or that blog post. And uh, we can at least reciprocate, meaning we'll bring you into our blog. We'll bring you into our marketing, right? Uh, make that a highly, not required, but a highly suggested first step after co-selling. Um, the co-marketing routine, um, the partners that we work with, we suggest they all have a content calendar that's partner sourced. Same thing for the agencies. You have your content calendar. What content do you have sourced by partners? And the sourcing is either you interview the CEO of Privy about the attentive acquisition and what it means for their product. That's good for your users, good or sorry, good for your clients. It's good for them. Um, that's going to go out next week. And then you have another one in two weeks. What is it? Well, let's do a webinar or a video uh, about 
CRO with the head of um, product from Clavio, right? But the point mm -hmm. is you have a recurring spot. You don't have titles for it. You don't have specific what you're going to do, but you try to fill it. So you say, okay, right. in our content calendar, what's, what's partner sourced? And then mm -hmm. you go out and you have your partner newsletter. You have your partner leads. So every time you get on an email or get in a call with a partner lead, you say, you pull up your memorandum, you make sure you go through that with them, you show them that, you explain how you work with partners, you look at holes in your stack, make sure they qualify, do you sell to the same ideal persona. But then after you check all those boxes, you say, okay, well, here's the first order of operations. Um, we've got a, a spot in our content calendar in two weeks. What can we do? Uh, you look at their LinkedIn company page and you say, you know, this person in your company seems to be really good at talking about CRO. We love helping our clients with CRO. Can we get them into an article or video something uh, in mm -hmm. two weeks? The partner manager will probably say, oh, hell yeah, we want that spot. You arrange for that spot to happen. That's two weeks out. Now, in the meantime, you do two extra things, which is number one, get them to account map with you. You want to do the account mapping before that article goes live, right? Mm -hmm. You want to show them, hey, here was our Venn diagram. Now article goes live. All of a sudden, you've got a few more people that were ours in your pipeline. That middle of the Venn diagram is building, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you account map. But after you account map, there's going to be two sides at least. Maybe there's stuff in the middle overlap, but there's at least going to be two sides. Now you have the conversation that starts to say, well, how can we get Snow Agency in front of that audience? And then they say, well, we have opportunities here, here, and here. Mm -hmm. Go down those opportunities and you start to pick out what opportunities you want. Hopefully those opportunities are included in articles, maybe market development funds to sponsor your stuff, maybe a newsletter announcement, maybe placement in their directory. Uh, which is also part of the memorandum. Do you guys have a partner page or a partner directory where you list all of your partners? Do you have something? Um, anything that you include in the partner memorandum, you'll see it's grid-based. So it's like, we include you here, here, and here and do this, this, and this. The whole idea there is to get them to say, well, we are going to do the same thing for you. So the partner memorandum can be a general living document where everybody goes and it's just all about you. Or the up step from that is we have a partner memorandum with each partner. So you have a partner memorandum with Clavio, you have one with Marie Carr, you have one with whatever, whatever, whatever. Each one of those is unique to that partnership. Each one of those is something that they can share with their sales team. That's important too. So now you're into the routine of, okay, we've gotten past the setup steps. Imagine if you're a software and you've got an onboarding process, you should have an onboarding of partners process. Now what you need to do is uh, start to just routinely make sure you're in front of their salespeople. Mm -hmm. What I like to do is if you use Sales Navigator, set up an alert when any new salespeople join any of your partner companies. That's a good one. That allows you to quickly reach out to that salesperson, introduce yourself, share your partner memorandum and tell them, here's what we do with your company. Here's who we are. Just read it. It's all here. Uh, if you'd like to get on a call, here's my calendar. I'd love to help you close bigger deals. And uh, we do that by partnering, of course, with your company. Uh, that's a great way to do it. You want to get into those agencies, uh, or sorry, those uh, salespeople's um, you know, memory essentially, and keep yourself right. there. That'll yeah. help you get more referrals because like, you know, the partner managers aren't the ones selling the solution. They aren't the ones talking to users. They aren't the ones onboarding or supporting. So mm -hmm. you need to talk to CS and sales. Uh, so that's the other operations, just routinely doing that. So ongoing operations are co-selling, co-marketing, and you just making sure you're top of mind to salespeople. The other way we suggest doing that is a lunch and learn going the other way where you hit up the head of sales, VP of marketing or whoever you think you can get in with outside of the partnership department and say, we're a top partner of yours. We'd love to do a, uh, a partner presentation, just 
understand how we help your clients, how we speed up your pipeline, how we increase your deal size, uh, how we help, you know, and, and let us come in and do that. So I'll, here's my calendar for, uh, we have a name for it. I forget what the name is. It's in, uh, it's in Partner Hub, um, but it's one of the steps that we suggest taking. Mm -hmm. But it's essentially a lunch and learn the opposite way. 